Rotisol's new performance range of rotisseries. Available in 8 spits, 6 spits and 4 spit models, with 3 different widths to choose from. Units are equipped with individual motors per spit. This series is gas powered, but we also have electrical versions. With the optional roof, which can be personalised with one's own laser cutout logo. This is plugged in at the rear of a rotisserie and is very easily removable, lifting up on either side. To replace the roof, one should just make sure that the roof is positioned correctly over the two pegs and just fit it down. On the left hand side we have the gas control knobs, eight of them, one for each burner. And on the right side, main on and off switch at the bottom, and then one switch for each motor. The units are equipped with four glass doors. These are metal coated on one side to reflect the heat back into the rotisserie. Robust hinges protect the glass doors when opened. The light is controlled by the last switch. The lights inside the rotisserie are protected by a glass panel. The inner side panels can be removed for easy cleaning. Just shift up and pull the bottom out first and then the top. And to replace them, we just go in top first and then pull down to the bottom, down from the screws. Between the burners, you have the burner shields. To remove these, lift up and just take out. Either side, lifting up and pull out. This is for easy cleaning. The spit holder on the left hand side has three grooves to place a spit near or far away from the burner. When you put the spit in, you put in the left side first into a depth and then push into the motor side. Here we can see left inside first and then hexagonal side into the motor. We can now do this with the other spits, left and then right. These triangular spits are the anti-cutting prongler spits. For a full list of available spits for the rotisserie, please go to our website and see the accessories page. Here you have a basket spit, which goes in the same fashion, left and then right. A rose clamp spit, We will now place the intermediate drip pan. First of all, you need to attach the side brackets. These are triangular in shape. And they fit on as such. Then the tray just slides in and locks into position. You see this done in the full picture. It just slides in and you pull back to lock it into position. Now slide in the bottom drip pan, which is used to collect the grease and also to cook vegetables. It slides in and is put to the back where it's slightly lifted in the drip pan we place the anti-splush radiant protector. 
this just goes right at the back and is pushed in as such. We can now proceed to light the burner. This is done with lighted flame, turning the knob to the start position and holding in. Once the thermocouple is nice and hot, the pilot will light. You can then turn the knob anti-clockwise to light the burner. The gas will eventually get to the end of the burner and the whole burner will turn slightly red, as you can see. The burner has two positions, either a low flame or a high flame, or can be left on pilot. A close-up of the gas knob now. On high flame, turned anti-clockwise to low flame. You can also see the position of a star for the start-up position. We do hope the new performance video was useful for you. And for any other information, please contact us on www.rotisol.com.